we'll, we'll turn out. You can you, you can try it out later on, but uh, we can show you now so that you can take it over. This is a we have a handset here that works on the LTE Advanced. Uh, this is uh, the service that we're now rolling out in our network. Um, and uh, let's see, maybe we can ask Patrick right now to give you a technical, just a brief technical description of what it is, uh, and then uh, we can show you how it works. And then later on, if you want a more detailed discussion, we can go some, kasi maingay dito, no? Then we can go some, so tights ba tayo? Teal Spring. So, huh? Teal Spring. Teal Spring, then we can go to Teal Spring. Okay, so Patrick, maybe we can discuss. Oh, I'm sorry, our friends from Hawaii. Uh, Jerry from Huawei. Uh, Huawei is our solution provider. Okay. For, uh, no, I'll, uh, I'll start with the data for uh, uh, GPRS, the very slow GPRS. Then we, we have the PG, then we have the HPE, then we have the, the LTE. Okay. Uh, GPR, uh, Edge is an improvement of uh, GPRS. Then HSPA is an improvement of the 3G. Okay. With LTE, LTE Advanced is the is another step, step up of uh, the uh, LTE. Okay, uh, we know we are familiar with how uh, no, how uh, LTE delivers the speed, how how it's able to reduce the latency, so how it improves the overall uh, no, experience of uh, the user. But I uh, know uh, another step, bringing in uh, LTE Advanced further improve the exp the experience of uh, the, the the user. Uh, the biggest, uh, the biggest uh, improvement is really on the throughput, the speed. Okay. Uh, for, uh, for LTE, LTE is popular among the different uh, operators um, around the world, primarily because the LTE technology operates on different technology uh, frequency. Okay. Uh, kasi siguro, medyo para ma, ano, a better perspective, kasi before, ang GSM operates only on certain frequency, mga like 100 megahertz, 18 megahertz, so it operates only on certain frequency. And even yung 3G, the wideband CDMA, also operates only on a uh, 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 certain frequency. They cannot operate on uh, all frequency. Among the operators, say, from one region, say uh, Southeast Asia, uh, uses a set of frequency. Uh, China uses another set of frequency, Japan, Europe, so, uh, and uh, Americas are using different sets of frequency. So that's the problem with, you know, with uh, for example, with traveling. Yung phone mo that is using a uh, frequency here sa Philippines, if you, if you go to, let's say, uh, uh, US or Korea, you cannot use it because they're using different uh, frequency. That's the, you know, the when uh, LTE was conceived, that's the, the primary, you know, the primary objective. Uh, LTE is this is time to solve this uh, problem. So, in the case of uh, SMART, SMART has uh, been assigned by NPC uh, with uh, 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 frequencies, uh, frequency bands for before for 2G, for 3G. So we have uh, different sets of uh, frequencies. So the, the uh, no, so we're able to use uh, when we introduce um, uh, LTE before we used uh, one one of our frequency. Then with LTE Advance, we'll be able to use all our other, you know, our other frequencies because in you know, an LTE frequency translates to speed. The bigger your, you know, the wider your frequency, the higher your speed. So in essence, to deliver, you know, to, de to deliver uh, high speed, we want more frequency. But frequency is limited. But we know that we have several frequencies that were assigned before. So with LTE Advance, it enabled us to use these different frequencies to, to deliver continuous ah, at the same ano, at the single subscriber one frequency another frequency sabay ginagamit ng ano ginagamit ng ng phone in LTE natin ngayon even your 3G natin this is only one frequency at a time when LTE ano advance there's the technology that is supported by LTE advance in carrier aggregation it can it uses two frequencies simultaneously so with two frequency, more bandwidth, higher speed. Two function and network, not the device. It's both the uh, and the device. device. Yeah. So that the device should also be capable. So basically, that's the uh, uh, how LTE advanced uh, uh, works. 
probably it uh, brings the ano, uh, higher speed. And also, with higher speed, kasi, ano, you'll be able to deliver more and uh, more services. Kasi di ba nalala nyo before with 2G, you can only do so much with 2G. Then with 3G, there more, you know, you have more uh, applications, di ba? Pwede ka lang yung stream. But it's not so, ano pa rin, but siguro is uh, HD video. Sometimes it's a for the HD is okay. So with higher speed, marami na mga application later na mali-develop. But it's not only us that's developing uh, these applications. But uh, and there are also the, uh, the, the technology ecosystem yung mga hardware uh, that are, are coming up with uh, uh, applications for service that uh, runs that can be supported by uh, higher speed. So basically that's the end of the end. Yes. Uh, I appreciate it. Let the ladies know that because it's more easy to get it. Melay. Melay. So what's your name? Melay is from the network. Yeah. Actually, last, last speed test we had is 130 MPP. Yes, so as you can see. So we're start the speed test now. So we're getting 132 for the download and so for the upload is 20 Mbps. So roughly we get we're getting 100 to 150 uh, download for the download maximum of 150 a while ago when we had testing and for the upload we're getting about 20 to 30. So we're going for the streaming for that. So we're the streaming with uh, YouTube jump in. <laughs> we'll try jump in. My question video. to you, Max, is what will you do with 120 Mbps? <laughs> <laughs> So for the for the screen, so you can see there's no buffering. So you can try another video. Even. So there's no And for, uh, for LTE, so usually in mga technologies, uh, the new technology are usually introduced first sa mga dangle, sa mga CPE. Kasi the, ano, when the new technology ano, uh, is developed, the biggest, ano, kasi the biggest hurdle is to, how to make it small. Yun ang pinaka ano, eh, biggest hurdle sa technology, it's not how to make it work, but to make it small. And uh, ano, with, uh, with LTE Advanced now, the, the technology providers are able to, ano, to squeeze in the, ano, the, the electronics to, to support the, ano, the, the LTE Advanced, the technology, into small system, uh, small uh, chipsets that can already fit the handsets. So the, so the LTE Advanced is already working now on a handset. Which uh, handset? Right now, it's a uh, Samsung that's uh, supporting. Uh, supporting. Is it the same yung mga LTE handsets or baka na LTE handsets? Uh, not all pa ngayon are, ano, kasi may certain, ano, certain version lang ng mga, ng mga phones na, ano, uh, can, can support it. Pero not all the models and not all the brands are supporting This one is Samsung S. Uh, Samsung S. It's a uh, version, this is. It's a version that's available in Korea. But I think it's on the S4 so or S5? Yeah. S4. That's S4. S4. But uh, I think that's Korean version. Korean version. Uh, S4 Korean version. Uh, yeah. K-pop yeah. version. K-pop yeah. version. K-pop yeah. ng Samsung. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yung mga handsets na available currently sa Philippines? Uh, right now, hindi pa ano. Uh, hindi mga handsets uh, right now are not yet available pa. How about the mga pocket white eye? Nalo na. Nalo na. Actually, we're going to be working with, uh, no, the, uh, the key, the key, the key consideration here is really, uh, the devices. Uh, the key, the key, the key consideration here is really, uh, the devices. Uh, so, 
Wala pa yung mga devices. That's why we'll be working with our handset uh, partners uh, to work on, on the availability of these devices. Uh, but we'll also go that we're signaling to the market already. Oh, this platform is being rolled out. But sir, if to the devices, the back end of the devices, they didn't have I'm sorry? Are you ready to launch it? Sir, simply yeah. calibrate that uh -huh. because you, you don't want to launch a, a platform where there's no demand for the use of the service. Uh, they want, you also want to see the market with enough devices to at least start it. So, sir, man, you're saying that smart is ready, wala lang devices. Well, we're making ourselves ready so that when the devices are available, we'll be able to. Well, it's see, out now. See, we also want to signal to the market that what we want the market to think, how are we going to use this? Oh, okay. yeah. So, so, you know, so, you know um, this is something that we want potential users to think through, particularly enterprise users. How do they can use this platform? I'm sure they will find ways, but it's better that they have a chance to think it through. Same time that we're wedding ourselves. So if you have a marriage, you know, now when you make the platform uh, available with the devices, etc., etc., people also have uh, a way they're really thinking to oh how am I gonna use this one? So that the you know the service will have traction and will will provide the service uh, that is of value to customers that they're gonna be willing to pay for because at, at the end of the day this is a business. You need to be able to offer the product that people will really use it. But the thing is the plat we're just telling people the platform is here. So man, but if such 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 which type of Yes. Uh, that's why we're here. <laughs> subscription pricing? Uh, too early. Too, too early. early pa. Too early. But In, all I can say is that the platform will be able to enable us to offer a wider range of services and products. But you know, it's not for me to say at this point in time. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You have to bring in new boxes. Yes. 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 So, in, in the old days, what, what, I just want to give the concept to a platform so, yourself. In the old days, when we switched from 2G to 3G, uh, we have to bring in new boxes. Yes. The, the new the base, station, base station equipment, they have to bring in new boxes. But with the current modernized network that we already have, the equipment that's installed already in our base station, all you need is a software update. So it's much easier to roll it out. Yeah. Uh, once again. Okay. Okay. 